Again, with our top story in the past few hours, Charlotte leaders made big decisions that could change the city forever. Millions of dollars approved and it will be spent to make living here more affordable. Thank you for staying up with us. I'm Fred Shropshire and I'm Sarah French. Those projects will be spread across the Queen City and the goal is to help thousands of families find a place to live, a place to live that won't break the bank. Tonight, our Hunter Signs is seeking solutions, getting us answers from our top decision makers. Hunter. Well, these are 14 potential affordable housing projects that the city says as of tonight they will help fund, but not every part of town is going to see one, and that's what's created a divided house among city council. As many cry out they can't afford to live here, Charlotte leaders are funding some help. Thank you. The motion passes. City Council approving $25 million to go towards 14 affordable housing projects around the city. But six of those would be built in Councilmember Victoria Watlington's district in West Charlotte. There is a disproportionate amount of housing projects proposed for District 3, some of which are supported by the community and others which are not. Some council members are worried about packing in affordable housing to certain areas. The benefits serve to, to the development community, particularly as they target the most vulnerable and marginalized areas. There were no proposed affordable housing plans for districts 6 and 7, the South Charlotte and Ballantyne areas. It's why Watlington voted against two projects proposed for her own district. And we should be considering how each project affects the fabric of our neighborhood. Councilmember Tark Bakari says he wants affordable housing in his South Charlotte district, but there's a problem. The fact of the matter is, on average, in many cases, land prices are 55 times more expensive in, in this area, in this part of town. We have to make the decision to say, are those couple hundred houses and the money it would take, given those land costs, is worth, you know, potentially using that same amount of money it would take to do that and get over 20,000 units around town? It usually always comes down to money. The important note here is these 14 projects will now compete for state tax breaks if they get them and if all 14 actually hit the ground running and are built or renovated. This could provide 500 affordable housing units here in the Queen City. The city here chipping away at a big problem that will take a lot more to solve. Live in Plaza Midwood, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte. Could make a huge impact. Hunter, thank you.